Yeah, I definitely have a food problem. I gotta have to fix my food problem. Um. Really, I just need meat. Lots and lots of meat. That's a problem for this person, though. She can't easily go hunting. I can't just go traipsing off <laughs> into the grasslands looking for moose. Um. I haven't found a spider basement. I'm a long way from the residential section down south. Hmm. Um, my, my goal is not to starve to death. It might be an issue here pretty quick. I'm starting to get a bit worried. None of this stuff is really nutritious, and I don't have a lot of it no matter what I pick. I'm about to be out of most of the uh, bread making components. Uh. If by bike you mean motorcycle, maybe. A bike bike isn't going to work real well with uh, going off-road. Yeah, none of this stuff is really going to hold me. Um, I really thought I brought more heavy foods back with me, but apparently not. Alright, let's have... Uh, I think I've got some soups and stuff down here. Chicken noodle soup. Meat soup. care of the immediate need. Um, I mean, I can keep hitting grocery stores and the like, but as you can see, we're piling through that stuff pretty quick. These metalworking tools and weapons also take a huge amount of time. It's awesome once they're finished, but I'm going to blow a few more days just trying to create the tools to make the things I want to make. Um... Bit of an issue with this particular character. Let's what time is it? Five in the morning, so sun's about to come up. I also don't have a working vehicle nearby. I still need to secure that. Um, maybe I'll go down and uh, try to grab the heavy cargo truck, get it running, go driving off into the uh, field, see if I can track down a moose or a bear that I can shotgun to death. That would help me the most, I think. Pretty bad vehicle to drive off-road with, but... I could do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware I can do all that uh, MJP, but the time it's going to take to put that together is the problem. I need food right now. I don't have time to be laying out the vehicle, even a small one. Not to mention the welder doesn't have any charge. Uh, I'd have to get the battery set up on it, so it's all stuff I'm going to take care of and get done. Um, just trying to think, how do I stopgap myself through this current issue the fastest? Um, I haven't seen an ant farm or ant hill on this map yet. I could take the gas mask and go hit up the butcher shop. 
Uh, with the gas mask, the poison zombies don't concern me over much, and there'll usually be a pretty good amount of meat and food in the in there. There's a restaurant right next to it. Yeah, let's do that. We got a grocery store, butcher shop, restaurants, and another grocery store. So we're gonna make a trip down that way. Um, going up on daytime though, so I need to just spend some time down here for now. Uh, let's grab a book to read, see if we can get some reading. Nah, I can't read upstairs. That smoke zombie's gonna get me. Let's do, uh, I think first aid again. I wanna finish that first aid to six. Focus is tanked. Ran out of light. Two by fours are run out again. <laughs> And we're tired. I shouldn't have thrown the 2x4s and started it up quite yet. Eighty-three percent, close, dead tired, and we're gonna sleep the night away again. Not what I wanted. The time cycle's all screwed up too. See how long we sleep. <clears throat> Everything's just taking so long. This six intelligence is really rough. And we've slept a good portion of the day away. <laughs> in the afternoon, not too bad. Alright, I might have to go visit the uh, <laughs> destination area is full. Now I need the gallon jug. I might have to go visit the uh, vending machines again. Alright, two in the afternoon. Um, do one last short reading session. Uh, 
95 percent 99 percent all right there we go first aid to six lost the light just in time uh five o'clock still not time to go yet um <laughs> see me. Little shady zombies still have that broken mechanic. <laughs> oh, hello. Why are you guys beelining right at me? Yep, they're coming right after me. Well, I'm interested to know why that's happening. Double shocker zombie, and they're all just running straight at me, and they should not be able to see me. I guess maybe they were able to see me when I was standing here? The only thing I could think of. Um... Rag. All right. It's 5.30. These guys are coming right at me. If I pop down, I might pop back up to a room full of shock zombies. Got the shotgun and the ammo. Do I take the shocks, kill these guys, and bug out? I don't have a convenient garage to burn down this time. Uh, no, Venator. Umbra's first aid kits are now items you unpack for the actual things that you use or heal yourself with. So they have medical tape and bandages and disinfectant and so on. Uh, what you want to do is just unpack it, disassemble it for all those parts, and then apply a bandage to a body part as well as disinfectant. And uh, by doing both, from what I've read, you get a healing benefit above and beyond what each might do separately. Um, and then you just got to wait. Healing is now healing over time. There's no longer instant heals. So first aid kits don't work like just big, better uh, bandages anymore. Um, I'm not liking this situation. I wish I had the bow ready to go. I want... I think I'm going to take the M4. Yeah, I'm going to take the M4 as well. Sure, they, they lost track of me then earlier, or what? They can't see me from there for some reason. Line of sight seems to be acting kind of wonky right now. No, I think he's coming to get me. No, they're they're just acting weird. 
Alright, shady zombies definitely gonna be able to see me. Um, but they're not pouring straight at me, so I think I will hang out down here until it gets dark and then take off. I'll see if I can either lead them away or kill them or ignore them, but I don't like having shock zombies sitting right near my stairs where I can walk up and then get hammered. Let's let some time pass, though. 1830, 1930, uh, one more. Alright, 8 o'clock, that should be enough. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's wait one more time. There we go. All right. Uh, light amp goggles are out of charge. I definitely want my light amp goggles charged up. Alright, zombies. Uh, I've got the gas mask with me. I've got very little carry capacity. Hey there, Cavencia Underking. Welcome to the channel. Um, they're in the way of me dragging my cart out. So I need to... Make space somehow before I try to get the cart out of here. Hmm. Let's go with the M4. Go out the north door. Hey there, zombies. I understand why the dog's coming right at me, but why the hell is that shrieker able to detect me from that far away? Sick sound? Why? It's making weird sound noises or sound again. Warm! <laughs> Summer day 13. I'm hoping that's... What the hell is causing all that? That is a lot of warmth penalty. Too many layered clothes items. Now they sort of lost track of me. Alright, let's take off the glove liners. How are we doing now? Alright, just the torso. I can't do much about that. The only thing on my torso is odd things and one hoodie. But he's 30 warmth. I guess that's the problem. Hey there, hit points down. I'm wearing light, amplifi light amplification goggles. These things right here. They give me much better sight range during the nighttime. Um, what I want is to try to get in range of the shock zombies, shoot them, and then move on. <laughs> Back to walk mode, please. Not sure where they wandered off to, though. Why are all you guys over here, anyway? Smoke zombies down in the minefield. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the gun so I can draw these guys away from my house. Uh, who do I want to shoot? The firefighter? Yeah, probably the fire. Oh, no, let's shoot the poison guy. Go away, zombies. I need to shoot... This guy right here. What kind of number we can get? Whoa! Hello, Shady Zombie. <laughs> I hate it that light amplification goggles don't let you see Shady Zombies until they're right up on top of you. That spoils things a bit. Um, fire from here. Can I get enough aiming done? 57, 72. He moved a little away from me. Good enough. All right, everybody, come on. Pour on out, head towards the noise. Whoops, hello. 
Alright, here comes the smoker zombie. No surprise there. Um, let's bring them all down this way. Acid zombie! Alright, uh, problem's gonna be I won't be able to get them butchered. They'll just stand back up again, which will annoy me. Stupid shady zombies. I don't know where those two shock zombies went. That kind of worries me. <laughs> Everybody get out of my house at least? No, not quite. God damn it, what is with all these guys tearing up my house all of a sudden? Uh, hey, rollerblades. You guys should be going towards the noise. I'm going to get really annoyed if my base gets ripped apart <laughs> right before I get taken off out of here. Ugh. Guys are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yep, now they're taking walls down. Alright, you yahoos. Come on. Who needs to die next? Alright, y'all out of my house? Not quite. <laughs> Guess we're gonna get some rifle practice. I am still puzzled on just where those two shock zombies went. Yeah, yeah, stupid shade zombies. Alright, let's switch over to the Cutlass, or the Cavalry Saber. Kill these guys hand to hand. <laughs> Come on, game. <laughs> I swear. Uh... <laughs> All right, so now we got three bit locations. I go all this time without taking any damage, and this kind of crap happens. All right, uh, smash them. Ignore all that shit. Come on. God damn. How long does it take? Hey there, Cuban Emo. Um. No, they're not bugged. They're they're behaving like they should. They're following the sounds. They're following my scent trail. So I'm not seeing any behavior that's. Beyond normal, short of the mysterious disappearing shock zombies. <laughs> um, I've got this dialed pretty far up on the difficulty, so I mean, I've got double zombie spawns, and this is a big city, so firing guns is drawing zombies in from all over the damn place, which is bad. And they lose track of me when I'm moving around, so they don't know where to follow me to get them away from my building. Uh, the biggest problem, like I said, is I've killed a few things that I'd like to go pulp or butcher, and I can't because I got too many things coming after me. Um, I just want this stuff out of my damn house. Let's go back to the M4. Hey, you guys. If I fire a gun down here, you're you're all supposed to to like follow me. Come on. 
No? You're just gonna stay up there banging on that thing? Alright, maybe they are bugged. That's pretty weird behavior. Even the crowd up there is not coming towards me. They're all busy beating on the RV for no apparent reason. Um, well, work our way back up, see if our base spitter zombie. God <laughs> damn it. And there's still more up top. I, I don't know, something weird is going on. This guy shouldn't be this focused on pulling this building apart for no apparent reason. Nah, that RV is not functional. Uh, I can't seem to get them away from the building. I've pulled and pulled and pulled, fired guns, fired guns. They lose me almost immediately in the dark is the problem. Um, well, let's first take care of the disinfectant. So activate torso. Activate arm. Activate arm. Get that taken care of first. Um, I've got my cart, so I can go do what I was going to do and see what's here when I get back. I'm just really worried that they're just going to be a mass of them here. And they're going to stay in the area right as I was trying to get out of this place. Um, it's possibly viable. I don't have that much ammo available, though. <laughs> um, that's a zombie corpse. Which one is that? That's the that's the acid zombie. That I definitely want to get rid of. Let's switch back to the cavalry saber. There you. Show up now. So, they're just busy taking stuff apart. Um, I got a group there, I got a group over by the RV, multiple spitters, there's still two shock zombies wandering around. <laughs> eh. How to do this. Yeah, once they get their mat on for a vehicle, and one of them makes noise by hitting it, then a bunch of others, anybody nearby hears the noise, and they all come in and start banging away, which attracts even more. So it just turns into a a nice little vehicle destruction fast. But they're out of the building temporarily. Is the spitter still inside the building? I got the smoker down by the RV. Uh those are all pulps. Is this an acid? Nope. Zombie dog. I don't remember where the other acid corpses were. I don't remember. Stop running. Oops, stop running. Dragging this heavy cart by him, he's not helping me any. I would love to get out to another location. I can't. <laughs> I don't have a functioning vehicle. I got four bazillion pounds of stuff in the basement of that house. I got no food. <laughs> so there, there's. A series of logistical issues. It's not as simple as just leave. <laughs> I was getting close to the point of leaving, and that's why I was in the final preparation stages when I ran out of food, which is now compounded by all of these zombies hanging out in the area. Um, I think I'm just going to have to leave these guys alone for now. Head down, do what I was going to do. Get this done. Um, actually, I don't want to... Yeah, yeah, I can go this way, and I'll just scoot down that other road. So, we'll get the reality bubble out of their range. That'll kind of freeze them in place. 
we'll do this other stuff first, then I'll worry about it when I get back. Alright, it's the uh, hardware store. We can go around the side. Not the back, actually, but we'll just go around. Alright, office, storage, don't care. E shop and restaurants. Health surplus. Um, now that they're not here, what do we got? Flashbangs, tear gas. Oh, lots of rotten milk, tea leaves, a gallon jug. Three gallon jugs of rotten milk. Forgot tea shops had lots of milk. Alright, probably got more gallon jugs than I need now. Not gonna find much else in here I care about. I want the front side of the restaurant. That was disappointing. We <laughs> got a few corn dogs out of a restaurant. That was it. All right, it's done and done. Got a hacksaw. I could actually, if if there's just too many zombies for me to hacksaw, it, take, it makes too much noise, and I'll attract zombies from all over the place. What makes me paranoid about even bothering to try to get into a uh, gun store right now? A little bit of diesel, a little bit of battery, security systems broke. Um, no engine, doesn't matter. Come on, lockpick, get me in this thing. Or something shows up. Alright. Close that. What do we got? Glocks. I don't want Glocks. Another Benelli shotgun. I think I've got two already. Thanks. Don't need any of those. Well, not proven as useful as I hoped. Ammo, ammo, ammo though. Speed loader, Taurus magazine. Sure. Make big piles bigger. 40 cal ammo. Hmm, again, not impressed. Alright, well, that was a pretty useless gun store. Um, go out and down, and we'll check that mill surplus store. Not a yeah, clarinet. Um, I do want a musical instrument. I have something better than a clarinet? A guitar. I prefer harmonica with holder. Guess we'll take the saxophone.
And my glass is out already. Duct tape! I wonder if I use so much duct tape I can't put the uh, survivor thing together. Hey, there's some batteries. Alright, unload the cordless. Reload the goggles. Hey there, Rain Barrel. Welcome to the channel. My damn goggles, activate. Toolbox! Ah, oh, goddamn basic repair kits. That's like the fourth time now. <laughs> they fooled me. <laughs> Making me think I got a toolbox and it's just a basic repair kit. So annoying. Alright, we're out of here. Come on, mill surplus. Oh man, I picked the wrong side of the mill surplus again. What you got for me? Empty MBR vest. Yet another backpack. Oh, a molly pack. Never mind. Molly pack I can use. This one's not too bad. Winter pants. Baleen solution. NMRE. Uh, I don't care about the rest of this stuff. Seems like all the zombies are up at my house. <laughs> Streets are empty. Just bunches of zombies all around my house. Alright. Got some batteries, that's about it. A double spear gun, exciting. Sleeping bag. Not gonna worry about the sleeping bag. Can you disassemble that stuff? Nope. <laughs> Chef's jacket. Chili powder. I'm getting ripped off in these restaurants. Man. Ain't no food in these places. Ugh. Um, Rain Barrel really depends. If you haven't seen it yet, take a look at my YouTube channel. I have a series over there called Quick Tips, or Cataclysm Quick Tips, and also at Cataclysm University. I have a couple of episodes that talk about night raiding in cities and the night vision characteristics and things like that. Once you know how things work, and you build a character that can do it fairly well, uh, night raiding is vastly superior. Because uh, zombies are blind at night as well, even more than you are, if you take any kind of night vision trait and have a decent perception. So once you get used to the movement and how things work, you can travel around at night fairly safely, like you see me doing right now. 
I've got a bit of an advantage. I've got light amp goggles giving me a lot wider vision range than normal. Um, but even without it, I would still be able to travel around fairly securely at night. Uh, clothing store. Let's go down this alley. Southwest. Alright. Augmentative tech review? What the hell's that doing over here? Huh. Alright. I'll take it. No, I don't want potato chips. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Ah! Whoa, what the hell? How was my movement jacked up like that? That was weird. Uh, I can't take the chance. Let's get out of here. This is just a small office. I actually want to go out the other way. What kind of vehicle we got? Ooh, we got a drop site. Uh, SWAT truck. SWAT truck. It's got a security system. It's got diesel and gas. Faulty engine. Yeah, a whole lot of faulty engine. Let go. What do we got? Glock with ammo and more 40 millimeter grenades. Can't hold it all. Unload the Glock. Drop the M4 grenades. Axaw. Crap, I'm carrying a lot of stuff I don't need to be carrying. We got knee pads, boots, come on. Where's the good stuff? <laughs> no ammo. What are you doing, game? Give me some ammo. Um, Sig 5.52 and an M27. I'm uh, not going to worry about them. Hmm. A little better, a little better, but not ideal. Lead works. Um, and an M240 with 100 rounds, of course. Um, let's unload the M240. And we'll take the MBR rifle as well. All right, acid zombie. Leave me alone. Where's the front door to this pizza parlor? That's eh, not the pizza parlor. Stop following me around. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> the hand jack just exploded. The four-inch caster's torn off. The cargo space is torn off. The handrails torn or the handles torn off. Some really odd things have been happening in the last little bit in regards to my movement rate and such. I don't know if this thing. <laughs> I, I don't know what this thing just did. <laughs> I've never seen something like that before. Long-range hit of what? Screecher zombie here can't hit from long range. I mean, my crap just exploded all over the ground, all over the place. Ugh. Uh, some weird stuff going on for some reason. Huh. <laughs> what happened was my cart literally exploded. Like four spaces away from any zombies, it just up and decided to explode.
Yeah, I've, I've seen that before when I had different light amp stuff <laughs> with the chroma key effects and my glasses and stuff. Um, well, this is inconvenient. <laughs> uh, I got grocery stores nearby. I can probably go grab a cart without too much difficulty, but... <laughs> hey, there's Ever Whisper. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. There's... Well, it does say the Screecher Zombie begins shrieking from the East Year Piercing Whale, well, and then all of a sudden everything disintegrated. So maybe it has that ability. I've never seen this effect before. <laughs> um, hey, <right>, well, <laughs> I'll have to go get a cart. Uh, do I kill this guy? I need to stay quiet. I'm just going to let these guys follow me around. Come on, you guys. Follow me around. Alright, grocery store is here. So there's my new cart that's going to explode. be interesting if he does that same thing. Good to know if that's actually what happened. Beer, cardboard box. How are you doing? Another cart, just in case this one explodes. I don't need a rotten orange. Ah, uh, we are out of here. Alright, so that place is done. Another pizza parlor. Does it have a back door? It has a back gate. There's a smoker zombie nearby. Or a worse type, possibly. Can we get to it? Pizza! Cardboard box. No pizza. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to start drinking cola and soda. <laughs> or energy drinks, I mean. Pepper. <laughs> More spices. More spices. Not what I'm needing. Cheese. There we go. Cheese is what I need. And some bleach. Alright, we're out of here again. Hopefully I can sneak back south around that smoker zombie. Run! It's gonna shriek! Ah! Alright, so now we got a crowd all around my stuff. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> um... Let's see. Might be time to light another fire. The screecher is drawing in other zombies from nearby. So that's not helping me. Let's get the shotgun out. Alright, that wasn't good. That took a little longer than I thought it would. Hey, you big pile of zombies! Um, let's shoot... Let's shoot you. Eh, lots of zombies! Alright, they're still trying to come straight at me. Shocker Brute, Shocker Zombie! I think that Shocker Brute probably heard that. Um, yeah, things are getting pretty bad here all of a sudden. I got a group here messing with me and all my stuff's on the ground there, and I got a group messing with me up at my base. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. How am I going to do this?
quite the pile. <laughs> it's possible. Um, <laughs> everything, it went from no zombies, no zombies, no zombies, to holy god, so many zombies. Ugh. All from one screecher explodifying my cart. Hey there, Zambies. I'm going to park my cart here, and we're going to set fire to this place. Activate lighter. Activate lighter. Can't light the floor, huh? Alright. Um, that's a display rack. Kind of hard to get that started. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah. I might burn to death. I think I'm gonna have to take whatever hits they're gonna give me on my way out of here. I gotta get out of here right damn now. I'm gonna get poisoned too. That's not good. Alright. Well, we're out. Stats are down. Pain is up. Taking damage. Badly poisoned. Go get the cart and hope the cover lets me break contact for a bit, at least until the uh, fire gets going. Ceramic armor plate in the garbage. I don't need the ceramic armor plate, I'll just throw it in the garbage. Alright. If we can come at the, yeah, where are you, Shocker Brute? Forty-nine. All right. All right. So that's got a way through. I get to my stuff. Hey there, Mr. Shocker Brute. You just stay right down there, please. I uh, might be able to pick up some of my stuff. Maybe. Alright. Flashbang, hacksaw, duct tape. Leave the metal items for now. zombie showed up. I got the wrong weapon out. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Didn't, didn't fool the shade zombies. So there's what? Four on me now? Uh, what, skeletal juggernauts in the area? I didn't see one. Wouldn't surprise me, though. Really, I just want to get a few of my things and get out of here. <laughs> uh, too many things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my next uh, cart here anytime. This is just wrong. They should all be heading right into that fire. Once again, they all get riled up, 
and they just hang out. There's a raging fire going on right there north of them, and they're all ignoring it. Making huge light, huge noise, and they're not all diving into it. So something's definitely changed in their behavior. Fires are not doing what they used to do. It's the herd of shade zombies that are causing me the most problems. And the rest of them I can run around no problem. Um, I'm going to end up losing this next shopping cart without too much more time going by. Light frames damaged pretty heavily already. Um, I don't know. This, this is starting to look pretty grim. Keep having these odd things happening. Oh no, I don't call any run a bust. I go until I die. Uh, well, an entire shopping cart full of stuff. <laughs> There's quite a bit. Uh, magazines, tear gas, cordless drill. I've gotten some of it picked up. Not too impressed by some of the rest, but I've also got some stuff on the inside of the building right over here when it exploded. Um, I just wish I understood some of their behavior. They're not... Things aren't doing what they used to do, which bothers me a bit. So like I said, this fire should be attracting them. They should all be just diving into that fire. If they don't do that, that's a really big thing taken off the player's strategy list of uh, things you can do to help yourself. Because with double zombie spawns in this kind of a city size, I need that kind of thing for diversions to be able to operate. I'm debating whether to uh, try to kill these shade zombies and then finish grabbing the stuff I want to grab and then get out of here. But I'm going to get nickel and dimed by the shade zombies. I really don't want to leave and then try to remember to come back to grab stuff. Let's do this. Let's back out to here. I don't want to spend any time standing right below a shock zombie. Alright, we're going to do it anyway. Get out the shotgun. Fire. Fire. Oh, I think they're coming finally. God damn it. Alright, separated me from a cart. Uh, now I'm up to like five shade zombies. I'm going to be out of ammo here pretty soon. Six, I think. Seven? <laughs> God damn. Uh Shotgun blasts going off, fires raging, and they're just sitting there banging on a vehicle. So something's definitely different in behavior. I'm, I'm getting a bit bothered by it. It's kind of nonsensical. And just ran out of my goggle points. I think all my batteries were in the... Yeah, all my batteries were on the ground or in the cart. That is a lot of shade zombies. That is a lot of shade zombies. Alright, poisoned again. Hey, I'll be dying right here. Uh, did it crash? No? Alright. Um, yeah, Shocker Brute's coming too. I don't know what's going on. This is really weird. 
Well, I've got about a dozen shade zombies blocking me now, <laughs> and I'm poisoned, and I got a shocker brood about to come into the mix. So, I don't know. There's something about this has been just really weird this last couple hours with the behavior, the way the herds of zombies showed up here, and I could not get them to move the way they normally would, and their insistence on beating up uh, the vehicles despite shotgun blasts going off nearby. There's just a lot of weird stuff going on. Um... Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm grabbed. I doubt I'm going to be able to move. I release the shopping cart. Try, try to move. Couldn't move. Now I'm completely surrounded. And if I kill one, a new one's going to step into its slot. Uh, I'm going to try to go back this direction. Assuming I can kill this thing. Yeah, not gonna get out of this. I don't understand the behavior. Things have just been really weird. Yeah, here comes the shocker brute. It's over right here. Um, I might be able to push the cart, but I don't know. I'm getting kind of annoyed. I got wedged in here. I'm multiple grabbed, I believe. Yeah, so I mean, I'm grabbed, poisoned, stuck behind about a dozen shade zombies with all of this stuff nearby. Pains through the roof, stats are dropping. So even if I do manage to get the, a space or of movement or so, I don't think it's going to help. We'll grab the carts. I don't even think I was able to move. I tried. Yeah, we're going to die right here. There's no way to get out of this. Um, I'm pretty unhappy about that. I don't understand the behavior. Things have been really weird with this last couple of groups. Just this last trip out. Didn't have any problems any of the other trips. <laughs> I don't think I brought any explosives with me, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference. Still grabbed. I don't have a space I can move to. They're just going to continuously grab me. Uh, these are 40 millimeter grenades. They're not uh, standard grenades. I need a launcher. I don't even have any. What's in there? Mm -hmm. I could throw some sugar at them. Yeah, I just don't really have anything I can do. Once they wedged me in like this and surrounded me, I shouldn't have come back this direction, I guess. I should have just kept going, but... I don't know. Like I said, things have just been really weird this last trip out in the way the zombies have been behaving, so... Alright. However... Fire! Fire! Yeah, I can't even get two two rounds of aiming off. Yeah, now I'm completely surrounded again. So, all right, we're dead right here. Well, it was going pretty good. All that time spent getting our skills up, and it did not help us. Went from no problems, no problems, no problems, to cart explodes from a screecher, which I'm still a little fuzzy on exactly what happened there. And it just went completely downhill from there. The dangers of uh, the world settings that I've got with the 2.0 zombie spawns in the middle of a big city. So... Alright. Um, yeah, I'll just... Oh, I'm out of bullets as well. <laughs> All right, no shots left in the shotgun. Cavalry saber to the end. By the time I get it out, I think I'll be dead. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much figured. All right, rip skater girl.
I still like to know just what was going on there. It does not make any sense. Gigantic fire, shotgun blast going off, and this whole crowd just sits there and ignores me. And I had a few occasions where they were doing things they weren't supposed to be doing, so... Alright, well, Gator Girl's down. I'll have to think about just what I'm going to do for the next one. Um, the 2.0 might be a bit much for the uh, zombie spawns, especially... I don't know, this one was kind of weird to begin with, with this gigantic city. <laughs> um, I'll have to think about how I want to handle things. Debug with debug tools? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, oh, no. I, I take my deaths. If I can't figure out that it was an, a full-on game bug, then I just take the death, so... I play hardcore. Um... So I'm not concerned about that. I just wish I understood just what was going on with the cart exploding and then the uh, the behavior of the last two groups, the one up by the house and this one. They just didn't make sense to me, and I couldn't rely on the normal behaviors I'm used to. So I haven't read anything about any changes to that kind of thing. So I'm not sure if the... I, I don't know. Not sure what happened there. Well, that's going to be it for me. That's seven hours, so I think that's good for this evening. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. As always, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you enjoy the channel content, check out my YouTube channel. Lots of stuff over there. Uh, could she hit something in the cart that exploded? I don't know. I didn't know that kind of a creature had any kind of a ranged attack. It was a good three, four spaces away. So I don't remember ever taking damage at range from that thing, but the chat log did say it screeched and then my guard exploded, so there seems to be a bit of a correlation there. Um, but yeah, the zombies were just really, really behaving kind of weird in this setup, so I don't know if it's the spawn rate, evolution factor, the, all the time that went by, and how many zombies there were, or what. I might have to dial things down a bit. We'll see. But we'll definitely be back, so stay tuned. I'll uh, be back for more. And like I said, check out the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And uh, have a good night. See you later.